media ignores any item of news that could be vaguely considered good news for America. The media really is the opposition party. Opposition, that is, to President Trump. Nothing that might help his re-election can be reported. Case in point, the stock markets march to all-time record highs. We're almost there again, and there's barely a word about it. What a rotten performance. They're just not doing their job. And let's be clear, the market's gains help everyone. 55 million Americans have a 401k. 35 million have an IRA. Much of that pension money is in stocks. Pension savers have done very well. That is very good news. Life insurers keep money in stocks. Union and government worker pension plans keep money in stocks. In fact, almost three quarters of the value of the entire stock market is owned by people over 55. You have rarely seen much about this in the media, right? And the reason is obvious. It is Trump who has produced the Trump rally. But the media just can't give him credit. Three weeks ago, the media was all over the, re the threat of recession. The pundits and the so-called journalists eagerly, indeed gleefully, talked it up. They became instant experts on the yield curve inversion. Now, they moved on to Trump, the erroneous weather forecaster. It really is laughable. Ignore them all. They'll never get over Hillary's loss. Instead, look at what's going on. Poverty declining. Extraordinary employment gains by women and minorities. And yes, the icing on the cake, the record highs for the stock market that fund your retirement. That's good news. You'll hear a lot of it here. The third hour of Varney and Company is a 